It's Mitchell from Australia, and this is Talk the Line Spectra Fail, where I'll be going over my latest test results and showing that the Spectra line is not rated to the 78 pound braking strength and 50 pound manufacturer rating. Now, just to recap, these are the first uh, set of tests that I did with the Palama knot, as I'm demonstrating on the right hand side there. This was recommended to me by the supplier of the line but later proved that this was not suitable for what I was doing as it forced the spectra to cut in on itself and break at the knot. Now I was just uh, measuring the diameter and it is what the manufacturer's spec specifications were of 0.32 millimeters. Now that first test only got to about 30 pounds before it snapped. This test only got to about 18 pounds, maybe a bit more. And this is all with the same setup, these three tests here. And that got to just under 30 pounds. Now these four tests here are just some of the probably 10 or 12 that I did with this setup before I went back to the manufacturer and he recommended that I prove and calibrate my dynamometer. So I'm using a 20 kilo weight on a scale, it just showed 20.4 kilos and that's my dynamometer with the 20 kilo weight hanging off it and the dynamic meter shows 20.25 kilograms so it's reasonably accurate for what I need. Now this is in kilograms not in pounds but this dynamometer measures in kilograms, pounds and newtons. Now this is the second attachment method I used the Palomar knot and then wound about 10 turns onto the D shackle so it's putting less strain onto the knot and more onto the line. But as you'll see in these next few tests, it's still proved that the spectra or the attachment method was not well suited to this test. And this only got to about 24 pounds. Again, around about 24 pounds. And this one made it a little bit further as I was uh, taking more time, but I accidentally snapped it with the calipers when I was measuring the diameter of the line. Now this test I took a bit more time and was stringing it out over about five minute periods, but it still only got to about 41 pounds. This test again only get in about 25 pounds. Now at this point it was pretty frustrating because I thought I had exhausted all methods of attaching the spectra to this D shackle. So instead of snapping 10 meters at a time, I went back to about one meter lengths. And this is one of the videos that I sent to the supplier to show him that I wasn't getting anywhere near the tension that I was needed. Now 
Now this was slipping a little bit, so I had to tie it off on the end of the D-shackle there. But it was still not even snapping at the, the knot. It was snapping midline at only about 35 pounds. As you can see, it's not it's snapped somewhere in the middle. Now, me and the manufacturer kind of went through and he recommended that I use a stronger leading line. So that line you can see there is attached to the spectra using an F FG knot. Now the leading line is rated at 300 pounds. So this is taking the tension totally off the 50 pound spectra in the middle and putting it onto the leading line. So there is no pinch points. This FG knot has proved to be the strongest knot possible. And so the tension is totally on the spectra. And this is a demonstration of the FG knot. Just doing a pull test there to finish it off. And still only snapping about 45 pounds. Now I've sent the spectra line back to the supplier who's going to send it to the manufacturer. They're going to test it on their line testing machine. And when they prove it is faulty, they've said they will issue me a full refund. Now, I will be getting in contact with all the donors who donated for this line because it is crowdfunded. Um, if you are one of the donors, please email me at talktheline at gmail.com. Um, I will be giving a full refund to those who want it. Or if you do not want a refund, you want to uh, put the funds into something else, possibly purchasing a new line. Um, I'll be happy to talk to, with anyone about that at the moment. Uh, that's the update on the Talk the Line experiment. Thank you again for watching.